Hey Jackals, in today's video we'll have something different, we won't be using DaVinci Resolve, but you can use this for video editing. And what we'll be making is some blinking lights. What you'll need is a plug, a socket for the bulb, this is an E27, and it takes normal bulbs, this one is just painted, and it also takes LEDs, like these ones, and bigger ones, and also something like this. And then what you also need is this guy. This guy is a starter and it usually is used with fluorescent light bulbs, which are long tubes. Let me just find one. So long tubes, sounds like this. This one is probably 1 meter 20. And for my main component, I'll be using a switch. The switch is a bit special. It has four contacts. And it works something like this, when it's closed or not on. The first two contacts will be continuous, I'll just zoom in. And I'll use a multimeter so that you can hear the beep. So the first two contacts have a signal, but the second two don't. But when I push the button, then these two contacts have a signal, but the first one doesn't. Now this is a push button, ideally you could have a button that is latching so that you don't have to hold the button in for the second part of the contacts to have a signal. And it would also be a lot safer. And what I have now, this is not safe and that is why I'm also using rubber gloves and how I will push the switch is simply grabbing it like this so I don't go anywhere near the contacts. And why I have used the switch, if I didn't, then this would always blink because it is driven by the starter. And now let me just give you a demo. First I'll use this light bulb. And the way I have set it up, just so you can see, we have the plug. I've split the brown part, which is the plus. So the plus goes to the switches. I've simply jumped this contact. And then these two contacts are separate. One goes to the starter and is combined here at the end. And the second one goes from this part, skips the starter and just goes to this one. And then last one will go to the bulb. Now the way I have set up the bulb is that I've simply connected it here so that if I don't need this contraption, I can simply unplug it. So now I'll connect this plug to the outlet and ideally the cable would be much longer and by default the light will turn on because that is how I've set up my switch. And now when I press the switch you should hear some clicking in the starter and the light bulb should also start blinking. Now how the light bulb blinks will depend on the light bulb that you use and also the starter that you use, because this is completely random. Just to show you what I mean, I'll unplug it and use a different starter with the same light bulb. Now this one's a little bit more predictable and it's not to my liking. So I'll just put the one I had in previously. So this one that I have, it is 4 to 80 watts. I don't know if the watts matter, but if they do, this is what I'm using. Now I'll show you this light bulb. This one actually looks nice. And as you can see why I've set up the switch is that you can switch between the blinking and the constant light. Now I have an LED light. Some say that this doesn't work, but I will show you that it does. But it does depend on the light bulb and maybe also the combination with which starter that you use. So this one is super bright, but it does dim when it starts blinking. Now I'll use this one, it's a huge one, from Philips, 23 watts. Now 
Now this one was blinking before. Maybe if I change the starter, it will start blinking again. Let's see, take two. Not really what I wanted. I'll just see if I have any more starters. So as you can see, this one also works, even though it is LED. But it did need a different starter. Now I'll disconnect it and I'll use the last one. And that one actually didn't work. So I'll see if it also just needed a different starter. And this one is LED from an unknown brand. So final test. Will this one work? And it's really bright. And I guess it won't. So this one's a no-go. Maybe it's just too big. I don't know. But let's take a look at this one. It's an LED lamp and it is rated for 15 watts. 